Hi everybody, today we're gonna be looking at the company Levi Strauss or Levi's, ticker Levi, and this company is on my watch list and I'm interested in buying it due to several reasons and I wanted to go over them with you. So first of all, looking at the company, they are producing the jeans and other clothes and as you all know, this is quite popular clothing all over the world. And this brand is somewhere traded at a medium price, I would say. So it's not a low cost, but not a premium brand where you pay like an extra price or some, something like top of the top. So this is why it could be a brand represented in all of the countries all over the globe, regardless of the GDP ratio and level of development that the country is having. And as you can see, they're operating with different brands. Levi's, Dockers, Denizen, Signature by Levi Strauss, Beyond Yoga. And this is quite interesting because looking at the last brand, you might see that they have a pretty large market to expand into, not only sportswear, but in general, they can enter any niche and be represented there quite nicely. So coming back to the analysis of the company, I am interested in it because if we look at the Guru Focus, you might see here the price of the company and the estimated price Peter Lynch earnings where we are analyzing PE of 15 and price at medium PE without NRI. So you might see that the price started to go slightly below the average values and here you might see that currently the company is modestly undervalued, but it pretty often defaults into uh, like really undervalued price versus the market and versus the price at which this company should be traded at. And as you can see, the estimated Guru Focus price is $21, while currently it is traded at 18 And I think that it will be falling less than this. So I think that the great price to buy this company that I'm having in my watch list is 12 to $15. So I think that is the great price from which you will be only seeing high returns in the nearest future even. So not only on the long term. So one of the things which I really like about the company, first of all, is its market cap of 1.7 billion and sales of 6.1, which means that I think that's the parameter of a really healthy company and a really good business and they have an income of half a billion dollars and at the same time they're paying 2.65 percent in dividends they're a pretty lean company only 18,000 employees the analyst rating is only 2.3 which is not that great but you know not that bad at the same time pe ratio is 12 with the projection to be at 11.8 which is great it means that the price will be projected if we project the same price for the future earnings we will see that the company will perform better than it is doing now and that's exactly what we are looking for price to earnings to gross is not that great but i think that overall consumer staples and apparel is not projected to be growing in the nearest future so this is the greatest time to buy companies like that and at the same time, if we look at the gross margin, it, it is at 60%, which is awesome. And the profit margin of 10 is like, you know, more or less fine. The current price is $18.1 with the target price of 19.5. But again, if we are looking at the great returns of 15 to 50%, we need to be looking for $15 price to buy it at. But, you know, you could buy it 16, 17. You can take your own decision on this. So the performance is really nice for this year to date. There is 17% increase, but overall the decrease, which we all know where it's coming from. If we look at the shares, the company started to trade just recently in 2018, which is not that far away from now, but the company started to decrease quantity of its shares. So shares outstanding is decreasing over the time. It started to increase a little bit, but we can see that they are still trying to pay off uh, to their shareholders the maximum they can, and they're not doing any strange moves that the company could be taking of their size. If we look at debt to equity, we can also see that current ratio is 0 
but it's not because they're decreasing the debt they're just increasing the shareholders equity which is also fine because this ratio is telling us that they can still increase the debt two or three times from where they are now which is also gives us a margin of safety that everything is going to be either slowly declining but nothing will go wrong you know massively as it might happen to any other company the other thing if we look at the analyst ratings we might see that only 11 to 13 analysts are giving their predictions which is not that representative as we'd normally expect to 30 to 50 analysts per estimate of the company but still since this is not a company of the large size this is still fine to my view and most of them are having either strong buy or buy rating with a couple of analysts saying that we should hold the stock but again as we looked before it looks to be undervalued hence I would recommend also buying it just a matter of at which price do we want to go into it and here you can also see analyst price targets where the low of $16 is projected and an average of 19.5 and the high of 24. This is why I think we are in a good spot at the moment, but overall it could be better to my view, especially in the near term future. And one of the things, if you are wondering like why the company with this performance and this metrics is not heavily bought on the market, to my view, the answer is pretty simple. If you look at which ETFs and mutual funds are holding this, shares of the company you might see the vanguard explorer fund americans fund delaware parnassus vanguard total stock market index small cap index fund so there are no hype etfs that most of you would normally expect because this is a smaller company and this is a smaller interest of the investors and especially individual investors that are usually buying ssp 500 and they don't want to know why or like what is the reason for that hence the, there is an interest from my end on this company and i think if this company will enter s p 500 in the future i think that's when there could be a tremendous growth projected for this company because it's a well-known brand i don't think they're going away or they will go away at any given point of time they have too healthy business when it comes to margins when it comes to their products and brands and this is why i only project growth for this company it's just a matter of time when the economic recession will go away and people will start buying the apparel again more and more than they were before. Hope you enjoyed this video.